Marcelo Malfigi first coined the term corpus luteum, or the yellow body, in 1681. The corpus luteum is remarkable in that it is critically important for reproduction in numerous species, but exists only as a transient structure that arises from the ovarian follicle after ovulation. The luteal phase of the cycle encompasses the period of corpus luteum formation and its subsequent regression. The corpus luteum forms at the end of the ovarian cycle from the remnants of the ruptured ovulatory follicle. Species that have ultra-short-lived corpora lutea do not form a functional corpus luteum. Example for this are rodents or any corpus luteum during the ovarian cycle unless ovulation is induced following copulation. Example for this are the rabbits and or pseudo pregnancy or pregnancy. An example for this are the rat and the mouse. Species that possess short-lived corpora lutea include many of the ungulates, such as domesticated farm animals. Example for this are the sheep and cattle, and primate species. Example, monkeys, great apes, and humans. If fertilization does not occur, or if embryonic signaling is insufficient, the corpus luteum will regress. Luteal regression, commonly known as luteolosis, result in pregnancy failure, but also removes the negative feedback of progesterone on gonadotrophin release, allowing for maturation and ovulation of a new follicle and another opportunity to establish a pregnancy. This video was about the formation of corpus luteum and its regression. Thank you for watching.